What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alyssa Morrison or the Alyssa Morrison if you are new here and today I'm sharing with you my currently loving slash I guess it's like my monthly favorites which is everything that I've been so obsessed with. I just wanted to share with you guys. I don't think this is focused. So without further ado, make sure that you are subscribed by clicking that little red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more from me and let's just jump right in. Recently, I have been getting into wearing this lip combo pretty much every single time that I wear makeup and feel like I never really go for like a lip situation, but I've been really into this. So this is the Patrick Ta precision lip crayon in the shade she's humble and then i also use the Too faced lip injection but this is the maximum plump which has like a more pinky pearlescent tone versus the original that just has sort of like a pearly translucent shade this is a little bit more pink also all of the products that i'm mentioning today will be listed in the down bar below with the direct link you can just go ahead and check them out but the hula glow bronzer i actually made a whole video reviewing this you guys know me i have extremely dry sort of lizard like crackly dry skin such a pretty bronzy glow but it doesn't look look too shimmery if that makes sense it's very subtle but i really 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 have been liking this especially as we're transitioning from summer into fall packaging is disgusting and covered in sand but this is the super goop spf 30 lip shield in the coconut flavor this has been my absolute go-to this summer for lip protection definitely do not forget to use lip sunscreen every day very important to to protect not only your skin but your lips as well you can still get skin cancer or sunspots sun damage on your lips i've been loving this i'm someone who's very prone to cold sores with any fragrance in products but this has not broke me out and i really like it first is this kerastas oil this is the elixir old team the hype is so real with kerastas i know that it's expensive and investing in hair care products like this brand is something that i was never really convinced if it was worth the hype and worth the splurge but this is the best hair oil i've ever used first of all it smells like a decadent perfume love 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 the way that this smells but the actual oil itself makes my hair feel like butter and i've been dealing with a lot of hair breakage lately especially when my hair is wet so I love to just lather my hair in this when it's wet or dry, basically every single time before I brush it out. And next I have the Briogeo Scalp, Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is such an interesting concept and when I heard about this, I just immediately had to try it. Now I'm obsessed. It has such a minty, fresh scent. Oopsies. It looks like this are basically tiny 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 little micro exfoliants it really gets into the scalp and just cleanses the hair so efficiently so it has a little bit of a tingling sensation which i just love next i have like a body care product this is the tend skin solution this is for ingrown hairs razor bumps for shaving and waxing went through a few weeks this summer where i had ingrown hairs pretty much all over my body i don't know what was going on i think it was because i was just over shaving and using kind of dull razors legs my bikini area everything was just so painful and i had razor bumps everywhere this was my saving grace and i don't think i will ever go without this actually more delicate or sensitive parts of my body such as like a bikini line underarms this is a game changer if you are someone who shaves or even if you wax if you ever deal with ingrown hairs or razor burn you would need to pick this up like yesterday it's such a game changer the scents that i've been loving recently this is the alts fragrance suds this is the dupe for replica's bubble bath i personally think it smells just like it huge fan of replica's bubble bath lately i think that it's such a clean fresh sort of soothing scent i would say it's definitely a muskier scent but it does remind me of a soothing bubble bath self-care situation i really like spraying it at nighttime because something about it's just so soothing to me speaking of baths dr teal's 
melatonin sleep soak. The past year have had a lot of trouble sleeping, which is something that was, was very foreign to me. Um, I've never really struggled with that until the past year. I really, really, really struggled. Something that I was challenged to do by my therapist is to establish a specific nighttime routine. One of those things is to take a bath. I do love myself a good bath, but Epsom salts have great benefits, but this just has a little bit of an added scent as well as melatonin, I guess. I just love the ritual of taking a warm bath, especially with products like this that are very specific to sleep. It just kind of gets my mind in the right space to get prepared for sleep. This hat, ever since I got it, I think I've worn it almost every single day. I purchased this at Urban Outfitters. This is their tonal hat. I'm not so much a Dodgers fan, but I just love the color. It's this beautiful muted sage green, and I think it looks so good with any neutral outfit, but also I've been wearing it for the sun protection, and anytime I go outside, it provides that little extra something as far as sun production goes so i have been loving this summer is almost over but the piece that i have worn the most all summer are these gold day jean shorts these are the riley shorts they are so soft they fit my body so well i will say i actually ended up sizing down two sizes i love that they have this button detailing where it's like a, a button up all the way instead of a zipper they are a little bit longer but they're still short but they are just like a little bit longer than your average booty shorts um i am obsessed they feel like butter on the skin i feel like once you invest in nicer denim shorts or like premium denim you probably will never go back because i just know that I'm gonna have these for years and they are so, so nice. I'm obsessed with journaling lately. It's been an absolute must for my mental health. But what I love about this journal, it actually came in a pack of three. Again, I will link these below for you. But it's just so simple. It's just lined paper, but then it has a spot for the date. You can also put the weather and then you can mark off what day of the week it is. Love these for different reasons. I have one that is just a specific journal where I'm journaling in just notes, brain dumps, anything like that. It's also great. I've also used this one to kind of keep track of some healthier recipes that i've been trying i just have like this whole journal dedicated to writing down healthy recipes that i have tried okay granted there has been like four healthy recipes because this is very new for me but i have been loving having these around and they're so convenient and i love the way that they look this matte sort of espresso brown just i love i love brown i love neutral thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope that you enjoyed and we will see you next week bye